Hey guys, I just wanted to say, hey, I don't know where this vlog is going because I don't know how much footage I've gotten, but I am just having like, just a moment of gratitude for, hello, it's Elijah. What are you doing? They always come to my room and they're always after something and then realize, oh wait, mom's in there. We're going to draw some Nobody. Why? Because. So I have been listening to some crazy cool podcasts. Um, Ed Milet has been rocking my world. I am loving it. Uh, hang on. Aubrey. Nope. So he... Uh, so anyways, I've been listening to a ton of podcasts lately because that is one of the ways I like to just get some growth in, just get to listen to some people who have gone before me and done crazy cool things so Ed Milet has been my my guy lately but he had a podcast talking about like um why we struggle with success or like how to ensure we would have good success I can't remember the title of it but it is like the most powerful podcast I'll try to link it in this video but it's talking about like in your health and whatever you're doing if you don't have um integrity you're not going to accomplish anything and integrity is doing what you know you're supposed to even when nobody's watching or like it's just not going to matter that much like does it matter if you and one of the other books i'm reading by a coach in my program um is talking about like living above the line so people who live with integrity or live above the line they're the people who clean up their trash from their own dinner instead of letting it fly all over the place. They're the ones who clean up after their kids when they've spilled rice all over the floor. I'm just talking about us because that's usually our scenario is the kids have made a mess and we are we always try to clean it up or like if integrity in your health. So what, nobody saw you eat that brownie. You know you ate that brownie and you know that it's not fitting in your goals. Or if you didn't make that call that only you knew you were gonna make but you didn't do it like it breaks promises to yourself you start like untrusting your own abilities because you're like I just you you realize internally that you're not showing much integrity so it has just like revolutionized everything like there was a moment I can't even remember what I was doing but I was like mm, that's not somebody somebody who lives with integrity would do that you know like it was something simple like pick up the paper that flew by me instead of just letting it keep flying or you know just little things and so I just want to challenge you guys listen to the podcast but also just live a life of integrity whatever that means for you like whatever promises you're making to yourself keep them whatever um things that you know you should be doing and want to do because that's what's going to drive you closer to your goals do those things um so I don't know it's just been really all day like live a life of integrity live above the line do the work hustle hard <laughs> all those things um so yeah that's my little encouragement for you guys today hey in car seats in the car we're going on school family we're going with school family school family no field trip yeah. Going on a field trip. Mom, we I don't know if I vlogged it, but Mom. we met some people at the farmer's market who um, raise and butcher their own cows, so they're grass-fed beef, and they're like super passionate about it. They gave me a book to read and everything, and so we decided that we were going to get some meat from them Coming to out. try it. So we're getting 25 pounds Let's go. of More beef, grass-fed, home-raised, butchered by them beef, and I'm pretty pumped about it because it was actually like a dollar cheaper than the grocery store meat that's not grass fed so i think we're getting a really good deal and we're gonna be able to be a little cleaner in our meat which is important because all kinds of hormones and stuff so i'm pretty pumped are you pumped <laughs> and i got some good um cuts too so i'm pretty excited about that and tonight for dinner we're gonna do some buffalo chicken zucchini boats I already have it in the crock pot. So, and maybe going to a conference. I'm really hoping we are, but we'll see what happens. Who's gonna watch us? Toby. Lexi's gone again. She's pretty much gone for the month of June. So. PK life. 
got some new Ikea stuff for the preschool, so they're gonna test it out first while I hang pictures on the walls and stuff. Look at this, it's all my grass-fed beef. So I got stew meat because they're out of tri-tips, so she gave me some stew meat to substitute. She gave us some beef kebab meat. This is all grass-fed beef that I got at um, $8 a pound since I bought it in bulk. More stew meat. What's this big old baby? I think this is a brisket. I think this is a brisket. This guy. Some ribeyes. Another ribeye. Yum. Oh my goodness, I'm so pumped. Top sirloin. Yum. Tons of hamburger, 14 pounds of hamburger. And a New York strip steak. And then 14 pounds of hamburger. So I'm pretty pumped, I'm gonna put this away real quick. Thought I'd show you guys what I'm making for dinner tonight. So I'm gonna make buffalo chicken zucchini boats, which I found some zucchini boats on Pinterest and I just really love buffalo chicken. So I thought I would do that. So in the crock pot, I have had chicken going all day with Frank's red hot sauce, this stuff. I always keep a big old bottle of that on hand. And then, hang on buddy. Mom, dad gave me some bologna and it was so good. A little garlic salt, just cause I wanted a teeny bit salty. You got salami prints. And then um, some ranch is, seasoning. So that's so, what this is cooking oh, in, and I'll shred it up in a minute. Oh, and then I have the oven at 400, and, and I'm gonna cut Mom, and pour the zucchinis, Mom, can I cook with, and Mom, it'll. Could, could I cook with you? Not right now, baby. Because I, I, could cook with you. I know, but I have a sharp knife. Um, maybe I'll Mom, maybe I'll let you put that? the cheese on top. Okay. Hang on. Can I help with the cheese? So I don't. We'll see. So I'm gonna let the zucchinis cook for 20 minutes at 400. I'm gonna show you kind of how I fill them after I cut them. Okay, I'm gonna revolutionize your life and I've shown it before so hopefully you've but this is how I shred chicken, the hand mixer. And it shreds quick, nice and easy. I love it. My sister showed me this. She saw it like on Facebook or something and I've never shredded chicken with two forks ever again. Okay, now that the sh chicken's shredded, I'm gonna go ahead and stick it in my zucchini boat. All right, I topped it with some cheese. It's cheddar and Colby. I'm gonna stick it in the oven for 20 minutes and then we will have dinner. Finished product, they're delicious. We already ate. <laughs> Always in the car. Always walking in the car. Let's see if this that. will work. Who said that? Ooh, let's see if that'll work. Can you see? Let's see. Let's see if it falls. It's gonna fall right now. It's gonna fall right now. Welcome to the fall. Welcome to the fall. Welcome to the fall. Welcome to the fall. Well, you know. well, I was right, people. He was Welcome. Right. It, it, that wasn't oh, an earthquake. The battery's gonna die. It wasn't an earthquake. No, although California has been experiencing lots of earthquakes, and I said, Do you know Jesus? Because I feel like the big one's about to come, and everybody who said California's gonna fall in the ocean is about to be right. So. This is our last video truth. before we it's not the truth. head to Texas. We're on Trigger Just Mountain. Just No, we tried to. So I'll have to be vlogging on my phone. But my sister and I had a nice long talk yesterday and both of us were like kind of hesitant about vlogging around each other just because we don't want to invade each other's spaces and you know, all this with everybody living together. And then we both were like, it doesn't bug me. It doesn't bug me. Why aren't we doing our, the, what we love to do? So. Welcome to the vloggers. Vlogalicious. Yeah, I'm trying not to look at the camera. I'm trying to drive, but 
Yeah. Right. And the battery's gonna die. The battery's gonna die. We're heading to Southern California for the dentist appointment and to get a new car. Maybe. Probably. Maybe. Most likely. Maybe. It's a good possibility. If the numbers work out, would you drive this home today? Well, the numbers are gonna have to work because we're on a lease and we have one month left to our lease. You're super white. I know. You're like, there you go. You're very white. I'm actually not. I've been getting a nice little summer tan going. All right. I'm not white and I haven't been tanning. There. Do I look tanner now? And there is a lot of highway patrol out on the road. So now I'll let you go. See you in a little bit. What's up, vlog? It's your girl Mandy here. I'm not cool enough. Um, <laughs> our camera died while we were in Southern California. So um, let me catch you up on what happened. Elijah got his braces. We dropped off our taxes. And we got a new car. So it's the same exact car we had before. It's just a newer version. And it smells like a new car. So that's fantastic. We actually seriously love, love, love our Flex. So we couldn't see ourselves getting anything else besides like maybe the Expedition, but that's like way out of our price range. So it took us 12 hours at the dealership. Half of that was them going, so the car was actually in North Hollywood, so they had to go pick it up. And then, so we're just waiting around at the dealership. Um, we went to dinner and then we um, went to Target so I could get some makeup since I had forgotten my makeup. Um, and then I ended up not even wearing it. So yeah, it was just a big there and back kind of quick trip. We're home today. I really kind of want to go get a pool, like one of those above ground, like Costco type pools, because it's supposed to be 101. And I just, I'm not about that hotter than Hades life. I came home last night and took a really good shower, washed my hair, did my like Clarisonic and all that good stuff. Cause I don't know, it just feels so good after a trip to like, like I flossed my teeth, brushed them, used <laughs> mouth. Like I just, I don't know. How many of you after a trip are like, I just need to like fully detox. That's me. What about you? I got a lot of work to do. What are you gonna do? Mm, it's hot. I just said I want to go get a pool because I'm. No, it's hot. You want to go get a pool? I'll go look at one. I don't want to get one. Let's do it. Mm, it's hot. Let's do it. We have had a pool, we were talking about it, for the last 10 years? Eight years. We've had a pool. No, I think it's been 10. And even yeah. before that, we would have like little above grounds and stuff. So we, or we lived in an apartment and we had a pool. So I feel like we've had basically a pool most of our marriage. And this is the first summer that we don't and I'm not feeling it. It's just not, it's not a good time. I, we in California, I think it should be law that you have a pool. Like there should be like a, I don't know. Anyways, so maybe we'll go do that. I have no idea what today holds. So come along with us. It'll be fun.